Welcome back to my channel! Okay guys, it's time for a new project and this time I'm going to use Stamperia and called Savannah. Oh my goodness! Alright, let me show you the papers. They are amazing! Stunning! Stay tuned! Okay guys, are you ready? Oh my gosh, I am so, so happy with these papers. They are just, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. How to explain that? Sometimes you see papers and then you just fall in love with it right away. And I really had that with these papers. I am an elephant, not an addicted person, but I do have <laughs> some elephants in my home, a big, big white elephant. I also have um, the giraffe also um, in my living room. And yep, for those who follow my doggy movies, and so I do film also in my living room sometimes, then you will notice also some leopard blankets. So yeah, I am quite in that nature. Vibes. I even make a big, big, big screen with black di with 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 um, diamond painting. That were also some some elephants in it. So with these this this image. Um. So yeah, I am in the savannah. So when Stamperia brought out this this uh, particular collection, I was so happy that they did, and I love the collection. And I know there are so many animal. Um, um themed papers but this one really catches my eyes and i'm gonna show you why so stop browsing just open it okay so um the first page that's the back of the cover you can use the cover of course always but on the inside on the background you have all these nice sentiments let me show you real close and this time they all are in English. Yes. Beautiful. Walk to life with the strength of a line and the tranquility of a sunset. Walking alone doesn't make you less valuable. Soul and heart. The easiest thing is always to be authentic. Peace comes from within and so on and so on. You'll see it if you have it in your hands. Now this page... Guys, look at this lion and this lady lion with the cups. Oh my goodness, so so cute! And the beauty of all that I really like of this, um, you also have some nice strips to use at top of this page, and that that idea becomes more. So you don't have a full sheet of a beautiful background with the savannah look, but you also have some sentiments in it and. Some nice crunchy things in it. Some splashes. I just love these papers. Alright, then we turn this over. And then this is quite the same one as this one. But then without the, the animals. So, so cool. Even the strips are the same. So you can flip this front and back. See? It's completely the same. If I would pick another one, and you can see right away, see that? How beautiful this blend. So if you have two packs and you have a bigger um, album or maybe a left and a right page, perfect to use this, absolutely stunning. So one, you can use the animals and on this side you can put your own picture. Great idea. All right, now let's go to the next page. The same um, thing that's going on. I call this stripes, banners. I have no design. Let me call it design. And then here we have the elephant with some stamps right here. The elephant, lovers of nature journal. Also, it really blends in so, so nice. It also would fit amazingly well in a nice journal um, album or a junk journal or something like that. But oh my gosh, I love it. Then we go to the back and that's the same idea. 
the same idea. See that? So cool. And absolutely amazing. All right, then we go to this page. Oh my goodness. This is just, ah, uh, wow. Yeah, I'm still having a little cold right here, so. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry that my throat is not completely clear and my nose also not, but okay, let's deal with it. Um, so yeah, what we got here are some nice stamps and I love these square ones. You also can make great, great, great embellishments with these, um, but you also can use them just a strip for a little pocket, a little bottom pocket. Oh, you can do so many things. You even can make little windows with all this. Oh, there are so much uh, possibilities to do this. And I love this little zebra family in the middle with the little baby zebra. Oh, amazing. I really love it. I love the colors also. And then the back, nice, nice, nice background. Easy to be used to everything. And then we come to the, oh my gosh, I can't expel that. Rhinos, let me go, yeah, I think it's a rhino, the rhino, yep, you know, the animal, I'm terrible, <laughs> neushoorn, <laughs> in Dutch, <laughs> and the same thing here, I really love that they did not use just a full page, but they used this design to make a nice, yeah, page. I really love it. So, so cool. Alright, and the back is the same as this one. So I really love that idea. Super cool. Alright, then we go to this side. Lovely square ones, which you can easily be used on making nice tags or something, or nice windows to nice little booklet or something where you can add your pictures on maybe add multiple pages where you can add your square pictures on so so cool A little photo book inside and then the back is also the same plain ones that is actually a really great idea no they are not all the same no, I was thinking it was the same. I don't think that this is quite the same one. This is almost the same as this one. Well, it's, yeah, I think it's the same one because this, oh yeah, okay, it's the same. <laughs> Super cool. Yeah, and then this one. Oh my gosh, with all the animals going the same direction. I just love it. Who does not love the, the movie of Lion King? Oh my god, I can watch that movie several times. I even watched the <clears throat> the 3 no, it's not a 3D, the 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 yeah, I call that. Not not the well cartoon movie, but the other one with real animals. Well it was not the real animals, but almost real animals. I really love that movie, Lion King. Yeah. Alright, so, oh my gosh, I can't say that enough. I really like it. I also like the mint color in between. Same as this right here. I just love it. Love, 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 love it. Okay, um, yep, you can use this as a full page. We also can use the strips. And then this one. Oh my gosh, I really love the, 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 yeah, there's actually so much going on in this page, but still it gives you <laughs> it, I just, yep, and then the back, wow, super cute, it really looks, it's not dwarf or something, it almost looks like a picture, you even can see the little hair, so cool, and then we have the little tags, always easy to be used if you are having troubles with creating your own little tags then these you just need to cut out I always like to put these on black papers or something to have a little bit more solid um, but you don't have to I don't think nope the back is so pretty that you even don't need have to then the leopard oh guys oh so so cool and again with the designs and everything yeah there were plenty plenty designs so cool and then the back oh yep 
can't say that enough. Here we have the round ones, also so cool to use as um, closures or yeah, just embellishment to decorate your pages. So nice. And then the back, so you don't need to glue them on something, so you can use them on both sides. And then we have some extra cutouts. Um, little wound ones, so cool to have those wound ones for the for the making the closures that I really like to do. And then a nice banner uh, strip at the bottom. Oh my goodness, look at this, so cute. And then the back, yeah, the back, you can't use that much if you cut all these out. But if you particularly want, you also can use this as a strip. But who wants that if you can cut out all of these all right guys so yep i decided to do the 8x8 inch paper pack to be used instead of the 12 by 12 because for me it's easy to be sent out worldwide uh, because 12 by 12 papers is package shipping and that's pretty expensive if i will ship that overseas um, i'm gonna use three packs because what can you do with 10 papers? Hmm, not much. What can you do with 20 papers? Hmm, it's getting started there, so I want to be safe. So I wanted to use 30 papers of this one. Alright, stay tuned and let's see what we can make with that. I also have, of course, some ribbons to be used. And I thought this thread would fit perfect with the colors. So that I'm going to use in. And oh my gosh, this is so cool. I do. I'm not going to use any flowers on this project because it will not fit with this project. So I choose for, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, amazing. A nice element embellishment. And it's it's been a long time that I used my cutting machine. And I really love, um, I call those, oh my guys i can't think of the word but i really like to use some of the cutouts so i cut this out in black to have some nice pieces all right so that's what i'm going to use for now i don't know if i'm going to add more but this is the plan so let's stick with that hello 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 welcome back to my channel um hi guys for those who are following my who are going to follow my tutorial i have a little update before you even gonna start um so i used four envelopes um like this this is one page but there are two envelopes yeah same thing with this one it's one page with two envelopes okay now I have no trouble at all with using those envelopes. Only I have to admit that when I was putting these two uh, pages inside the cover, that the hinge was a little fragile. So what I did was I just used some black duct tape. Uh, you can use any duct tape you like. Um, I don't even know what name it is, but I just use black duct tape. Please use some duct tape that not is easy to be torn. Um, as you can see, this, this one is to be torn like this, but not on the sideways. All right. So that is what I used to reinforce the spines a little bit more otherwise i had my doubt if it will stay on because an envelope paper is not that thick as i use my normal cardstock so i had to reinforce that so you still can make this with the envelope you still can they are in my album too but before you are gonna work with the pages i just give you the tip add right away your duct tape on your hinges because it's easier to do it before you put anything on it um, i manage it after i put it even in my album and then i 
managed it to put some duct tape after it, but it's not easy. So I just like to update you and give you the tip, add some duct tape on the hinges of the envelope. So if, if you are going to make, so if you're going to start this tutorial and if you're going to make the base page, which are two envelopes, then I have a hinge left. And that's the flap of one envelope. Reinforce that for and backwards with duct tape. If you have some duct tape, if you haven't, please go find some duct tape because it will help you having a nice sturdy mini album. Alright, so and for the rest, enjoy this tutorial and I hope you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, guys, I'm always not always but i have these envelopes so long in my stash that i really wanted to do something with it and the this size just fits perfect guys this it fits perfect for the 8x8 look at this oh my gosh yeah it fits just perfect so i just wanted to use um it finally I want to play a little bit with it. I don't know exactly what I want, but I have a little idea to use these as my pages, my base pages. I already stuck some inside, but... <laughs> All right, so let's see. All right, so my base envelope. First, we definitely need to make the, the, the side that's, that's nice and close so we need to open this okay so that's the first thing that i need to do and maybe it's a good idea to grab this one for that you <laughs> if you see this then this is my um um oh my gosh yeah, actually, it's it's already ready to cut my um, I call that <laughs> my um, strips. Let me show you real quick. Let's say that this is my um, leftover piece. See now it bumps into this chipboard that I nicely added against that strip because this one is always that I use for my. Um, strip so and I also added <clears throat> I just want to show you I also added some chipboard piece on this side I just I don't know if I can use it yeah I can use it still <laughs> so I also added that piece of chipboard in this for keeping it together so if I have strips I just place it under the chipboard against this that's right here and then just make sure that this is straight so I don't shovel this under but if it's so if you use it then it's so darn easy to be used so this is my way of cutting all these strips so easily without having any thoughts without any um, looking actually it, it's just a feeling against that chipboard and then just cutting and that is how I cut every single time the same size all right that's my little trick <laughs> how easy that can be uh, you don't need this but that was my invention <laughs> on how to cut my papers straight every single time now for this one I'm not going to use this so I just can remove this real quickly here we go I still can use it but for now I will put it away I think I can leave this strip on it just hold papers down so it's not necessary alright so a <laughs> long story <laughs> Yeah, um, so I'm going to cut down a small piece of my envelope just to cut it open. So I'm just going to watch this, just a little strip I'm going to cut off. 
All right, so on that I'm gonna do with two of my envelopes for now. Here we go, so this I cut off. And then I have two nice envelopes. Okay. Now what I like to do is, I don't think it's necessary, but maybe, I don't know, I'm just going to grab my bottle, which I see that I need to refill it. And it's been a while that I have some cough time, so I always check if, if my glue bottle, which, well, maybe I can use this better. This one is already wasted. Here we go. Yeah, now it's nice and open. All right, so now I can use it. It was definitely, uh, I think, two weeks that I did not cough because of my new paper line and a new kit and everything. So it's time to get back in my chair. All right, so what I like is you see right here, and that's not a big deal but i really like this to put down i don't want this to be loose so i'm just gonna check out all these little corners here we go and now we have a nice opening with nothing loose. Same thing I'm gonna do with this side, of course. Just adding a little glue right here. And on this side. There we go. That's it. Yeah, all right, now, you have two envelopes with on each side a opening. Now, let's check it out. What happens if I put this inside here? So make sure that it's nice and equal. This flap, you just leave it for now. But this we are going to add in here. Um, how you can do that, of course, we need to remove this strip, but why do we need to go all the way down? It's not necessary that you need this large flap. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this adhesive strip off. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe it's not that handy with that little strip on, but I am stubborn and I'm not going to take it off. Alright, so I'm just going to cut off this strip. Maybe we need it, I don't know, but for now I'm just going to cut it off. Alright, so now we have a smaller piece that we can just tuck it in, just like that. Alright. I'm just going to add a bit of glue. I'm just going to move it in. Place it double. So I'm nice and straight. Check it out. It's always straight. Where is my brownish tool? Okay, and now you see that this is still open and I don't want that. So what we're going to do is we are just going to close that down with a little amount of glue. Here we 
go. And that's the same thing on this side. I don't want this to be open. See, we don't need a tunnel, we need a pocket. So just a little amount of glue will do. Close that pocket. Alright, so here it is. One simple base page with a nice big pocket. Another big pocket. And this we can use maybe for adding it in the album. I just don't know, but I think we are going to use that. Alright, so, so far so good. That's the base. Simple. I don't know what this is, but yeah, I'm anxious to start. <laughs> All right, guys, let's the game begin. Let's see. So what I did first is I grabbed this page with circles. And I first cut out one of this. And I put it on some black. I doubled the, the paper, so I added two pieces of papers <coughs> on each other <coughs> then I just put this on I draw the line and I cut it out and then I'm just gonna fold it in half and this is going to be I can cut it if I want but I'm not gonna cut it fully I'm gonna cut this off but the, the fold line for me is necessary because I want a nice incision so I don't want that anything that I put inside here will stick out normally I would do but I really like to have a square album this time so I don't want that anything that I put inside stick out to easily pull out so I want to make a notch and I want to make a round notch <clears throat> all right now before I begin I also like to cut right away this piece off. So I'm going to cut this off so I have right away a nice piece where I can start with. Alright, so, and I don't know how much I need. Well, I'm just going to cut till the black edge. There we go. So this one I need. I want. Alright. Look how beautiful this fits. Oh my gosh, these envelopes are just amazing. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's easy if you have a little a little tiny piece of tape. Just a little tiny one. Um just add it in the middle somewhere and then just peel this off it can be even smaller but let's just use this one let's see so it sticks right here nicely then I like to use this one um, you can if you don't be sure of your stability you also can fold this now around it so you have more stability. See that? But you also can just make it equal with your design paper. All right, so do we eyeball it? Do we want to have the middle? Well, actually I do like to see what the middle is. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my roller on top. So my four inch is my guideline. That, that is the middle. Alright, put it on a place so you can see where the middle is. Higher and higher. Here we go. Alright, so now, <coughs> please stay put. Okay, you can make a mark of course, but I'm just going to do this this way. So I'm just going to eyeball where the middle of this one is. By the way, you also can fold this also in half, well not completely, but 
see right here and that is your middle see this that is your middle if you may if you want to make it even more easy so now you just point that dot till the four inch and you just go around it and yeah it's a big notch but I love it so I can see what's inside and I can see what how easy I can pull it out so now I'm just gonna open this up and it's very easy that we put something on it to to stick around so it's easier to cut out but 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 for before I'm gonna start just in case I don't know if it's needed but just in case gonna put something on right now fingers crossed that this can be cut easily I don't know maybe I'm just gonna need to cut this first so I'm gonna cut away my pencil mark I don't think it's necessary that you put something on it because it's still all right now with this one I did put it on but I still can use it guys and I just have to if I don't want the black back I just can peel it off but for now I just leave it on you never know where I can use it for with me you never know <laughs> you never know Nope, you never know. <laughs> Guys, am I funny? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to use a black distress ink to ink my cut pages. Nice black edges. Why do we do that so you don't see those white? See the difference? This one is already smooched. See this? I hope you can see that. This one is smooched, see? And this one isn't. Now, if you can imagine, if you put this on your black pages, it's not that nice. But if you get the side pages nice and black, or any color you like, but if it's distressed, then your project is just so much nicer. <clears throat> All right, so I want to see something in the back. Don't I have anything that I can use really quick? Ha! Huh. Do I need to cut down a piece of paper? I don't want to. Let me grab this one. All right, now I'm just going to put something inside so I can see easily what and how my cut is going to be yeah and if you are satisfied then glue it on here we go So I'm going to put this a little lower, same here, there we go, burnish it down and that's the first step for my first page. Yeah, all right. Now you can go right away uh, adding a piece of color um, design paper on the back, but I don't know just yet. I always say that if you want to decorate something on the back, I never know how many papers that I need to know, need to use. So I always wait for that because maybe you can even use clear cardstock. 
leds for example you just can let me show you got this one shorter show you oh wait just a sec of course i need to measure this shorter but if you just use a plain cardstock and it always get it also give you some peace instead of a busy background see how cute this looks just simple brown background it is possible and i will wait till i exactly know how many papers i have left because maybe i am going to use the papers i don't know just yet so wait for that just wait for that you always can go back and use your solid papers maybe a color you have in your stash maybe anything you like all right now we go right away to go measure something for inside here all right now first i'm gonna see that this will fit nicely so i'm gonna make it a little shorter i don't know exactly which size that is let's see this is a little bit smaller than an eight not completely an eight so i think a what's that then a seven what's what's it exactly a seven a seven seven eight let's check it out if that's a nice size that goes inside here oh yeah i think it is a nice big seven seven eight yep gonna do that a seven seven eight all right now i'm just gonna move this all the way till it stops where because we did close this okay so when it stops i'm just gonna yeah how do you do you, do you need to measure that nope i'm not gonna measure that i'm just gonna make this a half inch about lower does not need particularly Me any measurements but i'm just going to make it a little shorter um you even can make a fold line but nope i'm just going to make i don't want to make these pockets too thick but you also can make a booklet that's totally up to you if you want to do that you can make just a simple photo mat for inside here but you also can make a nice booklet but yeah that's totally up to you do you want a booklet or do you want well, i can't fold my papers double because then it's too short so if i want to make a booklet then i need to have another piece of paper and just add one on it totally up to you what do you like okay I'm going to show you that option so if you wanted just a simple photo mat then this is the thing you want now if you want to make a booklet i'm going to grab another piece of paper i'm going to cut the 778 <clears throat> then i'm going to make a fold line a flippity flop as many of you know that i like to use that word fold it fold it and if you want to use tape or glue that's totally up to you what you like to use here we go i'm gonna use my tool and this is a crea motion stamping tool which so many of you ask me but yeah it's just a stamping tool it's just an acrylic block with a hand and hand handle i really love it love to use it you don't need to buy it because you also can use a small ruler to do that same thing but for those who want to know all right so let's add this on your page Go. 
And of course you need to cut the other one even. And there you go, there you have your little booklet. So that's totally up to you what you want. So now I made a booklet, so I'm gonna put a booklet inside. A nice big booklet which we are going to decorate. Oh, oh there we go, the little clam. Um, which we're gonna decorate later. All right. So far, so good. So how much do we have left to do something on here? Let's check that out. Well, we have a big six inch, so that's wonderful. Stay tuned and let's go on. I was just checking how cute it would be if you add this round one on your, on your booklet. So darn cute. So if you are, if you are ready to decorate and you put it completely inside and you have decorate and you did smooch the edges nicely, maybe adding some black under, that's totally up to you, does not need because you have a nice back paper, but if you like, but it's not necessary. So, and then just go in till the end of course I don't want anything to come off and then just glue it on look at that and then when it's on then you only have a little that that will pull out so that's nice I will definitely gonna do that when the time is there so I'm just gonna use a paper clip so I don't forget. I easily forget things. All right, so that's that's a nice idea. All right, so oh, you even can use this one, but that I don't like. Okay, let's see. Nice six-inch piece. What can we do? Oh, ah, I need to stop a bit with this. <laughs> no, I don't. I just love it. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to do something. What I absolutely love in an album and yeah there are so many things that, that will come back each time but yeah uh, what's an album when you're going to do th things inside that you don't like i always do things what i'd like you're gonna live your life as you want <laughs> so i'm gonna do things that i like <laughs> yes i am all right so i'm gonna grab a new piece of paper and I'm just going to make a flippity flop. Let's do that. And I'm also going to make one at the bottom. Here we go. You can right away cut this off. Alright, burn it down. Go. Now I am gonna measure from here, of course, the end of my design paper to the left side. And the left side you can be away two millimeters at least. Okay, that is very, 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 very important. Okay. Core and cut. And let's cut this corner also. There you go. Fold it. Finish it down. Okay. So I think you're already going to know what I'm going to do. I want to make a big pocket. Yes, I am. I love pockets. Big ones. I want this to... Hmm, one and a half. I think one and a half lower. Let's say... Let's put this at the bottom. Okay, I'll put this at the bottom. Grab your ruler. And then... I think one and a half is enough because I'm gonna make a notch too. So I'm just gonna cut, I'm gonna make 
that one and a half. All right, so that I need to cut down. Yes, all right, so that is my pocket that I'm going to use. We also need a flap, of course, so we can use the same paper. Okay, let's cut this the same size. Cut it down. Make a score line, half inch will do. You can make larger if you want. go yeah and then how big how big we want it add it on okay we're gonna make it a notch I think I'm gonna make this when I am done with the notch so wait for just a second now which paper do we like to cover up with the notch just gonna grab back my first well, let's just go with the first page. Let's go crazy. Let's make it easy. <laughs> so, yep, I am going to cut that strip off. Do I need to cut it down? Because I also can use this, of course, fully. Ooh, so I don't need to cut it down. But if I am, then I can't use this because then I need to cut this down. Hmm. And if I do cut it down, then I always can use another image. Let's just go for safe. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but let me just cut this first. There we go. Cut it down. Never ever throw anything away, just save it. Alright, same thing here. Again, I am. Can be smaller. I ball this in the middle. You can use it this way or this way. It's totally up to you. Put it on. Use your ruler if you want to know where the middle is. Right, this is here, the six, so I need to have this at my three. There we go. So everything that I put inside this pocket is also easily to grab. So I'm gonna cut off my pencil mark. Just take a time for this. Here we go. Save it, you never know when you need it for. All right. Edges. Wow, I love the black edges. All right, yep, I am gonna glue this down already. Don't think that I cut anything wrong, and that's the beauty of cutting right away your design paper. It's so easy. So just glue it down. Glue it down. Alright, so now we have design paper and our notch. So this will go right here and now I can figure out how deep I want my closure and I think I'm 
just want the same size as as the end of my design paper. All right, so I'm gonna cut that off. I think I like to have a nice corner. Yeah. What do you think? It's cool. All right, so I'm just going to glue this down. Start on here, guys. Start right here at your design paper. Stay away right here. And be closer. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. This is it. That's the spot. I totally forgot to put something on that hinge. Well, Fingers crossed that everything that I put inside there will not get in the way. I will show you later what I mean, what I forgot. Alright, so that's done. Now we can put this on and see we are nicely away from that edge. Put it on. Make sure that you still use that guideline. So it's nice fitting. Here we go. Open this up and burnish this also right here and same thing guys the background of a pocket same as here you can leave it wait till you definitely know that we have enough papers all right nice big pocket yep closure that we are going to make a closure of course but we still can do something with here can't we yes we can do that let's see what I still want to do something with these papers. So what I'm first going to do, I'm going to grab a piece of paper and I want this fit nicely on here. I also can flip this way so I can have right away two of the same ones. So yep, I definitely, well let's stay away one millimeter so it's not bothering the flap and the bottom. Alright, make a mark, cut it down. And let's also make two flippity flops on the ends. Here we go. Something was flying. I don't know what that, oh that was a little Piece that's here. I need to find it in a second. Also, my very first round shape that I cut out, I right away lost it. So I hope I will find it back. But <laughs> I had cut it out. I was trying to find my black distress ink, and for some reason, I can't find that first cut. I can't find it anywhere. It's strange. So strange. <laughs> anyway, so now we have this. And the first thing that I like to do is cut this paper so it fits. OK. 
Okay, so we're going to cut the long way. Oh, that is a beautiful cut. Well, there is a stay saying here line, so but that's okay. That's okay. All right, now I want to cut just behind the butt of the lion. All right, let's do that. Okay. Smash the edges. You can dark it a little bit more if you like. Give it a little more vintage look. I also could use the back, but I didn't. I used the lion. And then cut the west off. All right. That's one. Now let's go to the other side and let's use the other picture. First, this dress. Go, glue it on. And put it on where your flippity flop is on the right side. And cut it off. see how we want this. Oh, this is nice. See, I don't want to do this because then you don't see the line. So yep, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to add first. Well, does not make which order. It does not make any difference. I'm going to start at the bottom. Right on that pocket. Alright, put some on the other flip of the flop. And just make this nice and even. go open it up burnish it down yeah I like it now we need to have a closure of course yeah okay Diane was that a good idea maybe not <laughs> but 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 how are we gonna make this closure now Diane Diane how do you want to make a closure? Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> well, if I'm going to add one of these rounds that came from this sheet, let's see which one fits nice. I think this one or this one. This one melts a little bit more, but I like this one. Alright, let me first make that nice button. What I like to do is use a few more black pieces. And this was the perfect, the perfect one that fits. 
But if you don't have it, then just, just fold a few times your paper and then glue it on and then just cut it out. You can do that. But luckily I had a punch that fits exactly the same size as these ones. Alright, so now I have three black ones and one design. go. So it's nice, nice little ticker. Also can use your to do that. Crocodile. Watch your fingers. For me it's also not the first time. And I cut my fingers with this. Here we go. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if I put this in here, then okay, this will close. But then this will be a little strange looking. So that was maybe not a good idea. I also can add another flap and close it. That's also a nice idea to add it on. So right at this moment while I am doing a few cuttings, my brain is thinking what to do. What can I do? What can I do? Shall we make another flap? At the bottom? <coughs> what shall we do? We also can do A swing tap or something, but then this is gonna get in the way, and I don't want to go like that. All right, I need to think about this just a second. <laughs> All right, I do have a little idea. Let's check it out. So I do have this leftover piece, and what if? What if I am gonna cut this? Also can use another shape, of course, but let's bring this back. Let's bring this. Mm, this is off. This is so off. Why is this off? Because I did not make the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not make the middle. Okay, that's the middle. And then, of course, this needs to be straight too. So I'm just going to use this one. Well, it's almost almost good but see this one is just a little off yeah that's way better all right okay put some black on Not fitting.
see guys what do we have now if I put this on about right here a little wet do you want some distance can be if you want it in between you can wait just a sec also can be yeah you just can use your imagination to make your own spacers. Here we go. Make this smaller. You don't need fancy stuff, just make it your own. The spacer will make sure that, um, that your thread that is going to be around under this round piece is not too tight. So you have some space under it, see that? You have a little bit more easily <clears throat> spinning it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Alright. <clears throat> now, I was thinking if I put this a little bit on the bottom, I still need exactly where this ends, of course. So, I am going to use my scoreboard to do that. Let's just eyeball this nice and straight. Let's check it out. And I want this a little bit dimension, so I am going to score two lines. This was the first one. There we go. And we scored another one to make this a little bit dimensional so if you add pictures then you still have some space all right here we go yes 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 and now i'm just gonna add this in the middle See that? Yeah, cool. I think it's the perfect solution. the bottom you don't see when you add something on it but I think it's the perfect solution yeah all right so oh I even can use this at the bottom so it's nice one image okay what if I do that what will I use on top Let's check it out. No, 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 no. Okay, let's check it out. Um, I want a piece. Piece one. 
the only peace one is this one. And these are some strips of this one. I think I go for this one because it fits nicely with this one. Yep. Yep, that's my decision. Yep. Okay. I'll go with this one. Do we want it this way? Or this way? Or this way? <laughs> well, let me first start with this. I'm, I'm definitely going to use this. gonna use these papers to cut I know I know but it's for the good cause and we do have more papers to use so that's a good thing pieces okay glue it on don't look at the back it hurts <laughs> um, think this direction. Here we go. We do need another. same thing as these ones and then I'll come back to you and put it on. Alright, so let me put some. Okay, so this is ready. Now I'm just gonna eyeball where the middle is. I don't want to ruin this word, but I guess that this is a nice spot. Um, of course, for this one too. Totally forgot. Make a little. Not needed, but if you want to, then 
this is a nice way to do it. Here we go. Put it on. Yes, okay guys, and then you can put your string on. And why do I say that you actually don't need a spacer is because you also can do that with some knots with your thread so that's actually the same thing but also lift lift it up but I always like to show you options here we go and here we have our you can use this or you can go one time up totally up to you all right so yes problem solved <laughs> yeah of course we need to decorate but yeah I like my first page yeah 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 I like it this is actually faster I think if you just do it with one thread but totally up to you all right so we do need to decorate the back um, the inside I will I think use some plain solid papers and then we can decorate inside here so yes plenty to do but what do you think you like it I like it 